ึ่งกูมอร์นิ่งกูเดย์เอสเตอร์สครัมกอดส์บลัสซิงส์กูเดย์กูมอร์นิ่งกอดส์บลัสซิงส์นิวเมอร์ซีส์ทุกเดย์คัมพัชชั่นที่เฟลส์นัดกูมอร์นิ่งกูเดย์กอดส์บลัสซิงส์กอดส์บลัสซิงส์อับบันดันต์จอยคัมมอนเอเมนเขาบอกให้เติมสิ่งที่มีอยู่ในมือผู้ใช้ด้วยการเคลื่อนไหวเติมสิ่งที่มีอยู่ในมือผู้ใช้ด้วยการเคลื่อนไหวเติมสิ่งที่มีอยู่ในมือผู้ใช้ด้วยการเคลื่อนไหวเติมสิ่งที่มีอยู่ในมือผู้ใช้ด้วยการเคลื่อนไหวเติมสิ่งที่มีอยู่ในมือผู้ใช้ด้วยการเคลื่อนไหวเติมสิ่งที่มีอยู่ในมือผู้ใช้ด้วยการเคลื่อนไหวเติมสิ่งที่มีอยู่ในมือผู้ใช้ด้วยการเคลื่อนไหวเติมสิ่งที่มีอยู่ในมือผู้ใช้ด้วยการเคลื่อนไหวเติมสิ่งที่มีอยู่ในมือผู้ใช้ด้วยการเคลื่อนไหวเติมสิ่งที่มีอยู่ในมือผู้ใช้ด้วยการเคลื่อนไหวเติมสิ่งที่มีอยู่ในมือผู้ใช้ด้วยการเคลื่อนไหวเติมสิ่งที่มีอยู่ในมือผู้ใช้ด้วยการเคลื่อนไหว For our seal, obviously, to、uh, our safe arrival, our promise. Hi, good morning. Yes, God's blessings. Hallelujah. Good to see you. Good to see you this morning. Amen. God is faithful. He's faithful. He's just. He's everything that He says He is. But as I was reading and studying the Word, I saw some things about the dispensation of the gifts and how. God has placed in us this treasure, this wealth of just everything. Like when when we can't find gratitude, if we're pressing in and filled with the Holy Spirit and walking in that place with God, gratitude is a response. Gratitude becomes like the response of heaven. So we start to learn God. I always say we don't earn Him; we learn Him. Amen. But yeah, I was I was reading it, and the more I was studying the Word yesterday and looking into some things, and and even Sunday when we were talking about the gifts of the Holy Spirit and stuff, and the love, the fruit of the Holy Spirit, I just got so stirred up because I could see in multiple places of His Word where He invited us to encourage others to be the salt, be the light, be the witness to. You know, be used of the Lord. Like this is our mandate. This is who we are. We are His ambassadors and representing Him. And how that glow of His glory and the goodness and the peace. When people say, "How do you have that? How are you finding joy in the midst of your situation? How come you're staying so calm? What is that you have?" And just that personal witness and testimony. This is what God was showing me. I'm just studying His Word. How that becomes the light to the people around us. Good morning, blessed woman of God. I hope your your phone is coming in clear. I, I know you're having difficulties hearing me, so I pray over that phone. We might have to get you a new phone. Amen.、Um, I know some people put it on the TV. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I I just hit go live, you know, and point it at the picture here for the Lord. So. But I pray your phone works a little bit better. And anyway, while studying, everything was pointing back. Everything pointing back to actually、um, this witness, this city on a hill, this lamp, this lampstand, this light. And I was like, Lord, I mean, it can't get any more clear how. As we raise up in the spirit and glorify Jesus, and the more more of Him in our life, not only、uh, we're going to receive, we are we absolutely will hunger and thirst, will drink and eat of His precious promises, of the promises of the blessings of everything that belongs to us. We are under that Abraham blessing covenant. That's where we are through the DNA of Christ. Through what Abraham did, everything has been fulfilled. So we're there. But what I thought about was the people around us who have no appetite, who have no hunger or thirst, no desire, who don't know Him, or maybe just know Him. At, you know, third grade, introduced through a, a Bible camp in the summer, or you know,、um, before life got hard, before the marriage started to. Die out, or got complicated, or the family went off and did their own thing. There's so many situations around us, and that's what God was encouraging as we stir up 
as we, you know, ask for the infilling, I, I mean, just fill us today, God. Don't let us leave our house without that mighty hedge of protection, without that kingdom authority in our walk, without the presence. You know, Moses said, if your presence doesn't go, now this is Old Testament before the filling, the indwelling, which we have, we temple him. But before that, he said, if your presence doesn't go, we don't want to go from here. We're not going to leave. That was one man made a decision for all the people that he was in charge of and all the people that God had entrusted him, his family and everybody. He said, we are not going, God, if you don't go. So now I pray that that is our confession today, that if the Lord's presence is not leading us, and we can ask him. Sometimes I had people tell me, hopefully tank doesn't start. We'll see what happens here. I might have to move him. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I've had people tell me in the past, they've been like, you know, what about when you did make a wrong turn? What about when you know and now you're thick in the, the, the bad decision or the wrong choice and you know it's not God anymore? I always say, let God in at that point. At the point of realization, let him in. Give him the steering wheel. Trust him. Confess to him each day. God, your will be done now. Have your way in this situation. It can be a marriage. It could be a move, a job, a career. Anything where we made our own decision, where we know, when we come to knowing this wasn't God. And just because it's not favorable doesn't mean it wasn't God. You know, I've been in things that were not favorable at all, where I knew the mighty hand of God led me there. So give me one minute. Let me try to get him where he'll settle outside before we start. Just start, start just thanking God for today. Yes, thank you, God, for today. Thank you for your new mercies. Thank you for your compassions that fail not. Just continue to thank Him. That stirs up that gift. I'll be right back. Thank you. just saw what it is it's a little bit cloudy out there so i don't know how he's gonna do it's um he i tell you he's such a smart dog animals are so smart we don't give them enough credit he can smell a storm before it even comes like he literally can smell the storm um i can tell i i know he gets stirred up like hours before it even gets here so okay so let's try to get as far as we can because he's outside now in the uh <laughs> the cloudy day god be with him and keep him so that we can pray and have bibles a little bit of bible word here um yeah keep the fruit he said stir up that gift stir up that gift so we're gonna read um let's see here first john chapter 5 verses 3 or i'm sorry 13 through 15 these things I have written to you, who believe in my name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life, and that you may continue to believe in the name of the Son of God. Now this is the confidence that we, we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know we have the petitions that we have asked of him. What a promise. What a blessing. Father, we thank you right now for that, God, that as we come to you, even in our own decisions that we've made and in the outcome of that or the consequence of that, if we, when and as we come to you saying, your will be done in this situation now, God, have your way in this future decision. Have your way this day. Your will, God. We're bringing our petitions to you, that your word assures us that you not only hear us, but that we will have the things that we've asked for. So, Father, we come together right now over each other's decisions, over each other's lives, our families, our friends, the footsteps, our walk with you, the calling, 
who you are in our hearts and minds. And we say yes to your will, to the perfect and exactness of what you have ordained before the foundations of the earth. You said in your word that you knew us as we were spirit, that we will return to the place that we came from, Lord, as spirit, Father. We thank you for this promise that as we come to you today, we say over our family and relatives that that promise of our household being saved because of our confession, because of our belief, that promise of salvation coming to our entire household, we say thank you for that, God. Expedite those things in these days, in these evil times. Expedite the answers towards our bloodline, towards our relatives, should you tarry towards the generations yet to come, that you would make us the head and not the tail above and never below favor going in and favor going out the blessings of abraham belong to each one of us remind us god of what jesus himself said yes abraham's seed nations the sand of the seashore the stars in the sky the blessing belongs to us that Abraham believed you and it was counted as righteousness. This faith walk, this DNA of Christ, this salvation, the birthing again, the fullness of the Holy Spirit, the guarantee, the seal, the promise. We declare it so over our loved ones, over our relatives and family, the blood covenant of protection. We plead the blood. We speak the blood. We declare that the blood, there's life in the blood, that by his wounds we are the healed, that he sent his word to heal them, and the word performed exactly what it was sent forth to do so we say and pray healing over our physical bodies over our minds wills emotions over those areas of the spirit that need to be revived that need to be revisited made alive dry bones live come to life any area in us that is discontent that has been quieted or just put aside or or shut down or in the name of Jesus passion being restored hunger and thirst desire Lord Jesus ignite us ignite us in the in the power of your spirit of your demonstration of your word fill us right now mind soul spirit and body from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet filled with your life you said abundant life we want that life you said if any man confess any woman confess you as lord we will be born again we confess our need for you in our in our thinking yes revived in the spirit of our mind yes lord Yes, Lord, you said be renewed, God. Teach us how to do this. Lead us. You said if we draw near to you, you'll draw near to us. We're drawing near right now. We're drawing near in feebleness, in a hunger, in a humility, in a meekness. We're drawing near with open hearts. Right now, cleanse us. Cleanse us of every unclean thing. Every, even the things we don't know about, we give you permission. We give you access. We open ourselves. Unrecognized sin. May holiness flood those places. Unrelented, unrepented things that we just don't want to do anything about. Those obstinate places. Those places, again, that are unrecognized, that are unspoken, not dealt with. Come, Holy Spirit. Come. Yes, our friend, our comforter, our guarantee, our seal, sticking closer than any blood relative in this earth. Jesus, Lord Jesus, have your way. Your cross, the message of salvation, restore the joy of our salvation, repair that place where clean once was, God. If there be any deception, any lie, we say come in and, and truth prevail over the areas, the hidden, the unknown, the, un, the eyes of our understanding that have not been enlightened in those areas. May revelation come forth, the revealing of heaven in this earthen vessel, in our earth suits, in our 
flesh, those 17 works coming under the demand of the nine fruits, demand, God, that this flesh obey, submit, yield, teach us. We want that obedient life. Right now we confess without you, we cannot, but with you, all things, you said all things are possible. Every single thing, everything that's written, everything that was for Adam in the beginning, all the way to John on the island, everything that was for each and every one, God, we stand sure footed right now in the kingdom and we say, Yes, your kingdom come, your will be done here in earth, in the globe, around the nations, your will be done. A great outpouring, deliver us, God. Deliver your bride, your church into holiness, into a place of fresh starts, new beginnings. Baptize us in boldness. Baptize us in courage and love. The baptism of love, the fruit of all that you are, your presence, God. Yes. For God, for you so loved that you gave. And that gift just keeps on from generation to generation. May the good news gospel, the message of the cross, go into the entire earth. You said that would be the sign of your coming when the gospel of the kingdom the gospel in power, in demonstration, signs, miracles, and wonders, the true, the pure, yes, the light, when that has gone forth into all the world, then your coming is, is sure. Then we can expect every tongue and every knee. You said everyone would see you. They would behold your glory. Oh, what a glorious day, God. What a glorious day. Yes, Jesus, fill us with faith, increase us, and teach us how to exercise that faith, hope, and love. The greatest being exercise in the presence of you, wanting more, longing. Yes, God, favor Jesus, favor with you. We are yours, your children, citizens of heaven, sons and daughters. That's what we are. You've called us co-laborers to you, working with you, in you, through you, kingdom children, kingdom people, royal priesthood, chosen generation, peculiar people, yes, kings and priests, you've called us that God, you've called us, you said go into all the earth making disciples, discipling, learned ones, raising them up, anointing them, appointing them, equipping them, God. Today, don't let us leave our homes without the armor suited from the helmet to the shoes, God, ready to go with our sword, the word of protection, the word of defense, the word that conquers giants. Yes, God, help us to combat every evil scheme for us and our neighbors loving our neighbors as we love ourselves for us in the body of christ praying for every saint you said every saint all the saints everywhere praying for one another singing to one another in spiritual psalms and hymns encouraging edifying strengthening exhorting correcting rebuking comforting all of your word we want it all god nothing lacking nothing missing entire complete hundredfold soldiers in this earth able to hear you able to discern you understanding to the revealing of the truth in your word, greater glory, visions and dreams of you, oneness, walking, just as Enoch walked with you, friendship, friendship, you said he pleased you, Abraham pleased you, Moses pleased you, Jesus exampled how close the vine and the branches can stay connected as he said and exampled how to walk with you in this life. He said, I am in the Father and the Father is in me and we are in you and you are in us. And we all belong together and united in agreement we stand. Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Trinity, Divine, all of us, us, 
his sons and daughters, his ambassadors, his fivefold ministers, evangelizing right here in our world with our relatives, with our friends, in the grocery store, on the job, with our children. God, give us a bold bold, passionate heart towards the children, praying for them in the bus stops, in the classrooms, praying for the teachers, the principals, the aides, the, everybody that is pouring in online and on site to the teaching and training up of the children, God. Raise up God-fearing men and women teachers, God, that know how to pray, anointed, equipped, God, ready them around your earth, around the globe, God, the students, the children, the young ones, the college graduates, be with them, Lord God, those that are seeking out degrees, those that are trying to increase and enlarge, no matter the age, God, be with them. Yes, in the hospitals today, in the doctor's offices, in the medical clinics, in the abortion clinics, God, in the, in the addiction clinics, in the counseling sessions, God, in the prisons, in the highways, byways, from the faintest cry to the, to the weeping and wailing and grieving and mourning, from the widows to the orphans to the hungry, in the cities and in the fields, to the homeless, in the woods, to the missionaries, in in the mission fields, God, and everything in between, our governments, our leaders, our military, our police departments, our soldiers, God, our first responders, those that are working for a better cause, a better good, Lord, those that are defending, those that are protecting, God, strengthen humble, raise up, Lord Jesus, out of the abundance of who you are. We agree with heaven. You said your kingdom come, your will be done in earth, in here, all over the globe as it is in heaven. Protection, divine intervention, angels released into this earth, released around us, armies of heaven, host of heaven, come forth, mighty warriors. Go to those that are to inherit salvations, messengers of the inheritance Yes, Lord, defenders, protectors against demonic strongholds, casting down, tearing down over cities, over homes, over minds, arresting and binding the assignment of the enemy right now over us, this generation, our household, over the future direction plans of the Lord. Yes, we come against every sexual trafficker right now. Set the captive free, Lord. Send in the vigilantes in the spirit boldness, faith, courage, knocking on that door, surrounding those homes, and heal on them, love on them, God, in the goodness of your love, bring your laborers, raise up those who will speak words to them and prayers to, to restore them, 100% restored over those children, over those women, men held against their will, being controlled, God. Those that are hungry don't know where their next meal is going to come from. From the smallest creature and to the largest, God, animals feeding them no starvation in this earth. God, there's too much wealth across this globe. Raise us up with ideas and, and set in order agendas and plans and increase and let us start things and launch things and prayer groups and, and hands and feet and, and corporations and not-for-profits and just give us downloads and deposits of those things, God, that are needed to take care of those that don't have a voice, the unborn babies, the children, God, those that are, have mental defects or emotional places, God. Right now, we just say, send the laborers. Make a way where there seem to be no way in every person's wilderness, in those broken homes, in those marriages, in infidelity, in the denial of of the two becoming one in the no conversations in the loneliness of the nighttime hour with the children suffering the siblings in the household not knowing what to say the division God I pray away we pray away we agree right now for ways to be made in the wilderness that's what you said a highway of holiness narrow paths right there where the prodigal is sitting may they come to themselves today 
Yes, backsliders finding the way to stand sure and secure and stay on the narrow path. Yes, Lord, the lost soul saying, I'm coming, Lord. That opening of the heart for souls to be one, for kingdom-bound walkers in this earth, a generation of glory seekers, seeking your glory, desiring your goodness, speaking your word, calling things that aren't as if they be, speaking life, sending the word. Yes, Lord, fill us, fill us to overflow. Teach us what it means when you said it is finished. Teach us how to walk in the finished work. Fill us with a desire and passion to know you more. To be acquainted with every area of what you've entrusted to us. Let us know that you love us. Minister love on the outcast. Those that feel like they've been rejected, God. Raise them up to be mighty warriors just like you did in the cave with David. Yes, God. Yes, send leaders. Raise up your leaders, Lord. Your leaders in the government, in the workplaces, in the churches, out in the fields and highways and byways, marketplace, sons and daughters of glory, God. No fear. Perfect love. Perfect your love in us, Lord. We honor you today. Thank you for forgiving us. Thank you for your mighty hand upon us. Thank you for making the way. Footsteps ordered. Yes, Lord, thank you for correcting us. We give you access to correct us. Correct us. Right our wrongs. Correct our errors. Minister truth where there is lies or ignorance or deception. Minister truth, God. Break off those workings of flesh. Deposit in us deepness, deep unto deep, God. Make us generous givers. Make our confession bold towards your promises and towards who you are. And even when we repent, may our confession be bold. May we be ever ready to say, I'm sorry. May we be the hands and feet. May we be the one that goes to the brother, even when we've done nothing, or the sister, or the neighbor, even when it wasn't our fault. May we be the one. Make us that heart. Make us those hands and feet, God. Yes, just like you walk, Jesus. Just like you walk, forgiving your enemies. Rending to Caesar what is Caesar and what is God, what is God. You taught them. You taught them. If two men come to you and one says, I've done this and that and I tithe and I'm generous. And the other says, forgive me. Which one? Which one? Show us, God. Show us that if you give us a couple talents, that we can't bury those talents, that you'll increase us according to the measure of the faith of what we did with what you've entrusted to us. We want to hear well done. Oh, Jesus. We pray for every heart right now. We pray for every saint. We pray for your creation across the globe. We pray for the areas of war zones and mission, missionary workers and Christians that are being persecuted and beheaded and can't carry their Bibles. We pray right now for the families of those who have not heard from their loved ones, for those that are missing a, a, a relative right now, for those that have an empty chair at the dinner table. God, we pray a mighty deliverance and healing, a comfort like never known before, binding the spirit of suicide, greed, division, perversion, lies, this generation being set on course to you, Jesus. Even in the face of evil, we do not fuel evil. We deny it its power. We deny the mark of the beast its place in our lives or anywhere around our loved ones. We're sealed with you. Today we have a confession. We confess Jesus is Lord. We confess that we need forgiveness. We confess that everything in us needs you, God. Every part of us from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet, born again, born again. Truth prevail in this nation and the nations of the earth. Send your angels, God. Open up the windows of heaven. Pour out into each one of us. We give you our confession today. 
we lay down our burdens. You said, cast your cares upon you. We're casting our cares upon you, Lord, today. We're letting go and we're letting you. Yes, teach us how to come boldly in a courage and confidence. Pour into us, God, as we pour out to others. Increase and enlarge us. Again, over every cry in this earth, unborn babies to seniors passing over, to the animals, every living, breathing life in this earth, we ask that heaven prevail over them all, all of them, God. Thank you, Jesus. I'll be right back. Thank you, Lord. Be right back. One more. Let's see how well he does. I'll tell you, he is so like, um, like I said, he's he's just super smart to storm. So, so thank you, Father. We thank you for sealing this prayer, for settling our hearts, for your decisions, for your direction, for your purposes, for your plans. We give you our hearts today. We give you our decisions. Come in fellowship holy spirit fill us yes i just feel like that put your hands out wherever you unless you're driving <laughs> but wherever you are and even if you're driving if you can just put one hand up keep your eyes open put your hands up please thank you jesus i got mine up thank you father ignore the dog please thank you jesus so, Father, today, right now, me, my friends, my family here, Esther's crown intercessors, we pray for a divine impartation of your presence. Yes, Lord, of your presence right now, wherever we're at, right now, God, that you would fill us baptize us in faith baptize us in your presence baptize us god that just going under and coming up filled with all that you are all that you are stir up the gifts in us god the prayers cause us to be faithful and forgiving loving filled with courage and faith and strength god we give you our hearts today <laughs> We honor you today. Come in. Come into every area of our heart, of our life, of our soul, of our physical bodies. Creative miracles, signs, and wonders, God. Make us stand in awe of the goodness of who you are. That we'll have a confession. That we'll, have, we'll be truth light bearers. And we'll be salty just as you've called us to be. Right now, total healing. Total healing over these bodies. No evidence of disease. No sign of sickness. No deterioration. No lack. No loss. Even in the emotions and in the mind. Well-being. Perfect love. Driving back every unclean thought. Every lie. Every deceptive thing, God. We want to be your ambassador. Yeah, we want to represent you well. Thank you for your spirit, your word. We pray over that hunger. We pray over that thirst. We pray over that passion and desire, God, that we would be truth keepers, that we would be faith walkers, that we would be filled in our mind, soul, spirit, and body with line upon line 
precept upon precept, the understanding of the scriptures from Genesis to Revelation. May there be that learning place in us, that eagerness, that willingness. Yes, God, that even if we just look at one verse, I pray today that it comes alive in agreement with heaven, in spirit and truth. We honor you today, God. We praise you for answering us. We know you've heard us over us and our families, our friends, blood-bought, blood-sought church, um, born birth family, generations to come, blessings. We call forth the blessings right now. Blessing upon blessing. You said you store up the wealth of the wicked to the people. You put it into our hands. You give it to us. God fearing people, blessing God fearing people, enemies, rulers of, of finances and resources being given into kingdom business. We pray a release of that now we pray God that you use us our hands and feet our finances and resources to bless to bless others God make us what you need us to be instruments of peace yeah vessels of honor yeah enlarge us hallelujah and praise we honor you today god we pray these prayers of faith we agree with heaven we say have your way jesus we praise you and honor you for interceding for us interceding for all of us you said you're seated at the right hand of the father making intercession Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, fill us with faith prayers in the middle of the day, in the middle of the night, every hour in between. Friendship with you is the greatest thing we could have here in the side of heaven, in this life, God. Let us know that, Holy Spirit, you're welcome. We will not deny you. No, we will not grieve you. Cause us to be one. Your voice, your discerning of spirit, your gifts. Yeah, that we would, just as David spoke to his soul, he prophesied into his soul. He said, why are you so downcast? Right now we speak to our souls. We say, be healed. Be secure. Be sound. Be ever ready and present towards God's soul. Yes, forgetting the things of the past and pressing towards the mark, the prize, the high calling. We give you our all today, Abba. All of us. All of us. We pray your will towards your creation around the globe. We pray your will from the smallest to the greatest, the richest to the poorest, the unborn to the seniors crossing over, everything in between. Be with each and every one. Be who you are. You said you caused that sun to rise on the just and the unjust today. We pray prayers of faith towards the just and the unjust today. Yes, God, break up the fallow ground. Rip out the, the thorn of wickedness out of the hearts of those, God, and then turn them towards your people in protection, in grace, in goodness. God, use them. Use the very thing that Satan meant for harm, just as you did with Joseph and his brothers, just as you did multiple times with Saul's conversion to Paul, just as you did, God. You use those things. You use the Samaritan woman. You use the woman caught in the act of adultery. Yes, God. You use Peter's denial. Lord, everything that you've made, everything that has breath, God, everything in this earth, every bit of it today unto your glory, as it is in heaven, so shall it be in this earth, according to your good measure, according to your grace and glory. You said grace and truth, glory and truth, word became flesh. May we be word walkers, our flesh adorning your written letter in living epistle, in power and demonstration, in accuracy, no error, only truth. God, pay back a double recompense for us. 
who have been through hard things, gone through fire. Forgive us, forgive our enemies, be merciful to all your creation, because that's just how good you are, Abba. Father, we praise you. Lord Jesus, we confess you. Holy Spirit, baptize us. Yes, Heavenly King, Lord of Lords, Prince of Peace, Almighty Maker of Heaven and Earth, the Great I Am, Spirit of Truth. We reject every lie right now. We say no to the schemes of man, to the devices of Satan, again, binding every demonic stronghold, binding every plan of Satan, and loosing the kingdom of heaven, loosing the answers of God's word, of his presence, angels all around, angel armies come forth, manifest kingdom order in this earth, manifest the promises and plans of God to his people to the outcast, to the downcast, to the prodigal, to the backslider, to the addict, to the prisoner, to the broken home, to the ungodly leadership, to everything in between, woman, child, animal, voiceless to us here, to the body of Christ, to the churches, to those longing, to the tears being so right there in the widow's room to the orphan children saying where's my family to the grandma crying over that sewing machine to the parents saying their prayers to the marriages saying just one more day to the hearts and homes God. oh secure us secure this generation in this culture God with our church, with our bride, with this generation, marked in demonstration and power and glory and truth and earnest love for you that supersedes the world and the things of this world that honors you in business and in marketplace, in church, in humility, in marriages, in families, yes, all over the globe. We say, have your way. Have your way around the world, in the earth, sea to sea, nation to nation, woods, jungles, valleys, mountaintops, rivers, ocean shores. Have your way, cities, nations, fields, jungles, woods. Have your way, high and below, every place in between. Yes, Lord, we agree with heaven today, and we agree with one another that we are the blessed, we are the highly favored, that you answer before we call, that we know you and your voice and your presence, that we would walk worthy of the calling, worthy, God, of the calling to be disciples, to be leaders, to be ambassadors, to be Christians, to be followers, God, taking up our cross today, denying self-will, and following in pursuit of your image, character, and likeness, fruit of your spirit, love, suffering long, not keeping a record of wrongs, not easily provoked prevailing and never failing love the greatest intimacy with you plugged in tuned in filled overflow may our cup overflow surely goodness and mercy following your rod and your staff bringing us comfort yes the keeper of our hearts never sleeping never slumbering remind us what you said that you never sleep, you never slumber, that you're the keeper, that you're the watchman, that you, your ear is ever listening, your eyes are ever watching, roaming to and from, your heart is for us. Yes, remind us that you're for us, God, that you break off the deeds of the flesh as we co-labor with you as we bring our attention and affection towards you, one turn, that's all you need, is us to turn away, turn away from what we once thought we wanted, and turn towards you. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes. We 
give you our worship. Here we will bow down. We give you our honor. We say that we need you. We want to know you. Let your spirit overwhelm us. Let your presence overtake us. Yes, we'll post that song later. Thank you, Jesus. I want to know you. Give us a song in our heart. I don't want to leave this place yet because I feel a deep cleansing. Just a deep cleansing. It's not against anything wrong. Washing of hurts. A washing of past decisions. Maybe things we just held on to as being a big sisters and big brothers instead of giving them to God. Just a deep, deep cleansing. He said deep calls into the deep. The sound of his water, waterfalls, the bellows. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Honor what we honor, God. May we walk in integrity of purpose. Strengthen, bring vitality to our bodies. Strengthen every feeble place in us. Oh, Jesus. Overcomers. Conquerors. Victorious. Mighty in battle. Thank you, Father. Bring the provisions, the finances. Surprise us, wow us, God. Bills being paid off, debts being, being resolved and dealt with, God. More than enough, more than enough that we may release into others and that we may walk as good stewards in this earth. Yes, God, homes being paid off, Cars being paid off, debts being relieved, bills being satisfied, all the resources of heaven. You said it all belongs to you, everything. Right now we look past that place. We look to the hills, past those places, from where our help comes. God, we open ourselves up. We open our mailboxes. We open our bank accounts. We open our hands. God, release into us so that we can release into others. Yes, Lord. Provision, both spiritual and fi financial, physical, emotional, mental, total cleansing, deep cleansing, rivers. Wash over. Wash over. Yes. Swimming in it, God. Receiving of it, God. Yes, Lord. Cleanse us. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Worthy is the Lamb. Great is your name. This generation. Hallelujah. Fill us your calling, God. You're equipping, you're leading. Guide us that we could be one with you, that we understand the scriptures when we live them. You said, let those who live in the Spirit also walk daily. Walk in the Spirit. So do the Spirit. We want to reap this abundant life. Ooh, heavenly visitations, Lord. Yes. 
sound minds, clear thoughts, subconscious being sub subdued by your word, clear ears, clear eyes, physical bodies functioning in the days of our youth, restored to youthfulness, creative miracles, signs and wonders. Yes, God. Fill the earth. Give you our worship. Here we will bow down. We give you our whole heart, all of our affection, all our emotion. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Abba. Bless our friends. Bless each one. Yes, our friends and family, our neighbors. We pray for our enemies. Your will be done in each situation. Protect us from evil. Hedge us in a ring of fire, strong tower, angels, warring angels, laborers, friends of you and friends of us and the faith and the church and the cross. Greater God, hallelujah. Open the highways and byways. Open the doors. Take the ceilings off, God. seal it here in earth as it is in heaven we agree today thank you for filling us thank you for the deep cleansing God. thank you that we are changed transformed new inside and out we honor you and worship you today glory any hidden areas reveal God Come into those places. No blind eyes, no deaf ears. No hidden agendas. No valleys too deep. Not in us, God, just you. Your spirit, your presence, your word, your, your heavens, your ministry, your kingdom. Just you. We want to temple you well, God. Holiness. Rivers of life. We pray for those blind eyes today that they'll see God. Settle our prayer, seal it by faith, calling it done, calling it forth, speaking it as is, knowing you've heard us, just like we started out in 1 John chapter 5. That when we pray according to your will, you not only hear us, but you answer, you answer according to the power of who you are, power and demonstration over our lives. Yes, God. We say yes to you, Lord. Hallelujah. Settle this one. Settle this one. Our properties, our homes, our lives, our bloodline, our churches, our cities, our nations. Settle this one. Your will, heaven's plan, in earth keys to the kingdom, honored up, settle these things, Lord, yes, peace to the storms, comfort to the pain, to the hurts, settle these things, Lord, full bellies to the hungry, 
deliverance to the captives, a setting free, a supernatural healing, miracles, signs, wonders, answers, remedies, cures, programs, laws. Settle this, God. Heaven open to the earth. Death, where is your sting? Grave, death, where is the victory? None in Jesus' name. None, no evil befalling us, no harm coming near in Jesus' name. The bloodline, the blood protection, the cross, the message of hope, angelic host, no evil manifesting. None, none in Jesus' name. None, no diabolical scheme, no plan of hell, no scheme of man. None, not against us or our households, this generation will arise. This generation will be bold and courageous. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. We agree now on all of it, on for one another, for your plans, we agree. We settle this prayer. We seal it in the abundance of who you are, God. We agree today. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Calling it in, God. Thank you, Jesus. We're in agreement, God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Woo. Amen and amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Prince of peace, mighty God, maker of heaven and earth. Be encouraged. Stand strong in the faith. Stand strong. Amen. Thank you so much. God's blessings. Love you. Be encouraged. I'll be praying throughout the day. And we will be connected again, God willing, tomorrow. Keep your hope, like a, I saw, like you ever see the picture of the heart that has like flames coming off of it? Yeah, treat your hope like that, like just a heart of passion, of hope, and spirits of expectancy towards God and towards the plans he has, amen? God bless you, love you, bye-bye.